Well, hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Brian McLeod of Hamden, Massachusetts. Well, hi, this is Pastor Brian joining you again today. We are taking uh, this week in Bread of Life to uh, grab some snapshots of Jesus as he uh, lives out his life and ministry uh, as uh, re- recounted for us by Luke in that gospel. So I want us to go on now to yesterday, of course, if you were able to listen in, was a kind of an interesting time uh, because we looked at Jesus as a 12-year-old boy in the temple. But today we're going to jump a number of years. He's now into his ministry and he's traveling about. And one of the places he was at a lot was a place called Capernaum. And uh, Capernaum is kind of a, a modest town, but a, a pretty busy town on the shores of the Sea of Galilee on the northwest coast. And it's about 700 feet below sea level. You compare that to Nazareth, which is, you know, 1,500 feet above sea level. That's kind of quite a, quite a distance uh, in height, that's for sure. And Jesus often found himself in and around Galilee and Capernaum. It, Capernaum was the home of Simon Peter and his brother, Andrew, as well as James and his brother, John. And we're going to see Jesus calling them, of course, to be his disciples in that town where we're there. Well, in Luke 4, 31, we read this. Jesus went to Capernaum, a town in Galilee, and taught there in the synagogue every Sabbath day. There, too, the people were amazed at his teaching, for he spoke with authority. So here we are. It is the Sabbath, and Jesus is in the synagogue. And friends, uh, that was not a rarity for Jesus. For him, of course, church was the synagogue, right? And it was a Sabbath priority. Uh, for the Jewish people, it was Saturday. We, we choose Sunday, the Lord's Day, as our day of worship. But were Jesus with us, a priority would be to be in church on Sunday. And the text is clear. He taught there every Sabbath day. So however long Jesus was there, you knew where you could find him on the Sabbath. And it would be the synagogue. Jesus understood and knew the importance of intentionally staying connected with God through life in church. Jesus respected the house of the Lord, and I hope we, we do as well. I hope you can say in, in your own life, yes, church is a priority in our home. You know, I, I often say to people, uh, Sunday school and church were never a discussion at the McLeod home on Sunday morning. You know, and I'm talking before I was even pastor of, of uh, Bethlehem. We all knew what we did on Sunday morning, right? I hope you all have such a plan as well. You know, when you get up on Sunday morning, hey, you're going to church. It's not a question. Well, there's no mistaking that people were amazed at Jesus teaching you. If, we're, if you were able to be uh, there, right, you would recognize that this is how Jesus spoke constantly. Uh, earlier in verse 22 of chapter 4, it says, Everyone spoke well of him and was amazed by the gracious words that came from his lips. You know, how can this be? And of course, that was in Nazareth where he was a favorite son, or he should have been. Well, the people were amazed at his teaching. Uh, they didn't trip up over uh, this humble man that they did in Nazareth. Je- Jesus was a favorite son of Capernaum. Now he was the amazing teacher and boy, were they impressed. Jesus spoke the truth like no one else. He spoke with authority, unlike the teachers of the day who loved to quote everybody, but never said anything real or new or exciting. Jesus had everything at his hands and he, he spoke with clarity. That's the Jesus we worship, friends. I hope you do so each Sunday in church. See you tomorrow. You've been listening to Pastor Brian McLeod of Hamden, Massachusetts. And this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.